Welcome back to Dude. <sighs> My goodness, I need a shower. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dude Tyerson. Today I'm going to show you how to upload photos and videos to your mobile applications from your computer. So, why is this so great? Why can't you just go onto your mobile application on your phone and upload? For educators, if you're trying to upload to Class Dojo, it doesn't let you upload from your computer. You have to transfer from your computer to your mobile device and then upload from your mobile device to Class Dojo. Why do you have that middle step? Or if you're a photographer, maybe you edit photos on your computer and you want to upload them to Instagram. It's a little bit annoying to transfer to your device and then up to Instagram. So this application I'm going to show you actually cuts out that process of transferring from your computer to mobile device to the app. So this application works whether you're running Windows or Mac. It's called BlueStacks. Go to bluestacks.com. Click the download link in the top right. Now I'm going to stop here and let everyone install the application. I'm assuming you already know how. If you don't, Feel free to drop a comment and I'll help you out. Now, I will say this application does take a bit of memory to run, so I recommend exiting every other application you have just to test the waters a little bit. So what this application is, it's essentially an Android phone running on your computer. As you see, I have a couple things already installed here. Just ignore all my gaming apps. But what you want to do is go into the Google Play Store. It will require you to log in with your Google Play account. So if you don't already have one, create a Google account, a Gmail, um, it won't hurt anybody. So go ahead and log in. And then for educators that want to use Class Dojo, just go in just like normal and search Class Dojo. And then you can download it. Uh, as you see, I already have it. I'm going to update it. If you want to go back to your home or main screen, click the Home tab and you'll see your app here. Go ahead and log in with your account. Now the process is exactly the same as a mobile device. However, you need to get your media or photos or videos into your mobile device on your computer. So there is a little bit more of a step here that you need to take. Go down to the more apps button and click media manager. This is the media manager of your fake phone. And then you want to go in and do import from Windows or import from computer or Mac, whatever it says for you. And then you find your file and then open it and it will load in right here. And now you can X out of Media Manager. It's already in your fake phone. Go back to Class Dojo. And then you can go into a post. You can do Class Story. And if you want to post a video, you just go to the same spot. Click the Photo button. And then you can choose which one you want. Now, you might want to double check if you maybe have a couple of videos that look the same like me. Um, I had to check which one was the most recent. For me, mine is the top left, and that is always the most recent one I import from my computer. And then it does come up black. Now to test it, I usually click the play button. Now it'll start playing, but I can't see it, but I can hear it. So do not click the play button again, because this is a small little bug in the BlueStacks app. If you go back and click the X, then you can see it playing. And now you can pause and play it from here. If you clicked play again, then it would play two versions and you won't be able to stop it. <laughs> now, I will say when this is posting, it will take a little bit of time, maybe a little more than usual um, to upload. However, you can once you start posting, you can go back and do other things inside of your fake phone. You can even go back to other classes. I'm not going to post here, but you can even go back to other classes and start posting on all of them at the same time while it's uploading you will get little notifications saying it has finished uploading to check it. If there are any errors, it will give you an error message to try again, just like the normal application. So it's literally an identical application just on your computer, on an Android device. Now for Instagram or other apps, it's the same exact thing. You just need to make sure you import things through the Media Manager application in BlueStacks. Now I do want to show you one more thing about the Media Manager. When you're inside of it, you actually make duplicate copies of your videos or photos that are on your computer onto this fake phone. So it's a good idea to delete them when you're finished. To do that, it's just like an Android phone. Click and hold on one of the videos and now you can select them to delete them. So that's it guys, it's pretty simple. Really you just have to remember two things, import to the media manager and then run the app like normal. So guys, I really hope this helps you out. 
Um, if you liked it, give me a little thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. And guys, don't forget to subscribe if you want some cool tips later. Thanks, guys. Dude out.